Bringing you stories from other parts of Africa, a devastating fire that swept through South Africa's Houses of Parliament in Cape Town has reignited hours after it was said to be under control. Flames have been billowing from the building's roof. Firefighters at the scene trying to douse the blaze. The fire first broke out on Sunday. Police have arrested a suspect who will appear in court on Tuesday on charges of arson, housebreaking and theft. Authorities had warned that flare-ups would be possible because of the carpets and wooden floors in the building. We're now being joined by Brigadier Nomtandazo Mbambo, spokesperson Hawks. Uh, these are South Africa's Directorate of Priority Crime Investigation. It targets organized crime, economic crime, corruption and other serious crimes. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for giving us an opportunity. Great. So we hear that a man had been arrested in connection with the Parliament fire, um, and he will be um, showing up in court tomorrow. Um, explain to the Nigerian audience exactly what uh, led to this, if you have any idea. Uh, indeed, a uh, fortunate old man was arrested. That was yesterday. He was arrested by SAPS members who were on duty at the time. Uh, this after, a man was found in the building uh, in Parliament shortly after it caught fire. The particular person was found to be in possession of other um, items that were believed to be stolen in Parliament. As such, the matter was handed over to the Hawks, his investigation investigating crimes against the state and uh, after interrogation the guy was charged with house, with house breaking and theft as well as arson um, and also be charged under the national key act national key point act um, what do you think would make a person go to the parliament to set it ablaze has there been any um, any form of uh, agitation against the National Assembly uh, or the Parliament lately uh, in South Africa that would have led to someone doing this? We're not sure at this stage what, what the motive for um, this incident was. That is also subject for investigation. But we're looking at all angles and we'll be conducting full investigation into the matter, including to check if the guy was working alone or he had assistance. Hmm. What, ex what is the extent to, of the damage as we speak right now? Because at, at the time, we got reports that the fire was being controlled. But then um, I spoke with someone who was a representative of the ANC earlier in the day, and she said she was still at the parliament and that the fire had begun again. Indeed, we were all still in, par in Parliament when the fire began again. But unfortunately, um, that is the mandate that falls under a fire pit. It's difficult for us to confirm the state, what the, the extent is, because as it is, we haven't received or had an opportunity uh, to gain access into the building. It has always been the fire brigade. So we are also waiting for them to declare the thing as a space uh, as a, and when they manage to contain the fire, it's only then that the police will be able to gain entrance through the forensic team so as to we can be able to investigate the end of the damage as well as what caused the fire. Finally, before I let you go, because I know this is a very busy day for you, a lot of things have been lost in this fire, history books, um, um, photograph important works of art and other things that, that are in Parliament, um, you know, obviously has been lost to this fire. Is this something that the, 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 um, the South African government, especially the Parliament, can recover from, especially looking at the fire and the damage that is done as we watch it on TV? Um, I cannot confirm that at this stage. Um, as I indicated, only uh, the fire brigade or the fire and rescue can be able to confirm that the, yeah, the only ones who up until now had access into the building. So what we had is DSA has to say there are areas um, where there wasn't that much uh, damage uh, that and there were other things that could be rescued, but 
unfortunately, as I said, I cannot be able to say exactly what because we haven't been allowed to the window. Well, I want to say thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, we're uh, appreciative of your time and uh, we're hoping that the fire would be controlled in no time. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for speaking with us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.